Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rosie Maths class. Today we shall discuss example number 2 of chapter 7 triangles. Previously we have done example number 1 of chapter 7 triangles and now we are going to do example number 2. AB is a line segment. So AB is a line segment and line L is its perpendicular bisector. This is line L which is the perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular means 90 degrees. So this is making 90 degrees angle here because it is perpendicular and bisector means this line is dividing AB into two equal parts. So this part if I say label this as C then AC is equal to CB or CA is equal to CB. So that is the meaning of perpendicular bisector. If a point P, there is a point P here, you can take any point, lies on L, show that P is equidistant from A and B. We need to show that this point P is at equal distance from A and B. Let's join PA and PB. So PA and this is PB. We need to prove that P is at equal distance from A and B. Which means we need to prove that PA is equal to PB. Solution. What is given? Line L is perpendicular to AB. This is given in the problem. And second thing is it is the perpendicular bisector dividing into two equal halves which means this line is passing through the midpoint. C is the midpoint of AB. C is the midpoint of AB. This is what is given to us. Now we need to prove That PA is equal to PB. PA equals to PB. Proof. In triangle PCA and triangle PCB. This is the symbol of triangle. So PCA. This triangle and P. C, V. Second triangle. So we are comparing these two triangles. A, C is equal to B, C. A, C is equal to B, C. Because it is given that it is C is the midpoint. So A, C is equal to B, C. Angle P, C, A is equal to angle P, C, B. That is equal to 90 degrees because this is perpendicular. So angle P, C, A is equal to angle PCB and that equals to 90 degrees. So for this two we can write the reason as given. Now PC is common to both the triangles. PC is a part of this triangle also and the second triangle also and which is equal then. PC is equal to PC and the reason we can write is common. So now AC is the side so side angle PC is the side side angle side so according to SAS rule triangle PCA is congruent to triangle PCB and we will write here the rule SAS rule side angle side rule so these two triangles are congruent now if these two triangles are congruent therefore we can say that pa pa is equal to pb because they are corresponding sides of congruent triangles so we know that when two triangles are congruent then the corresponding sides and corresponding angles are always of equal measure. So these two are equal and the reason you would write is 
C P C T. This is the short form of corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Therefore, P A is equal to P B. Hence, we have proved that P is equidistance from A and B. Well, that's all for now. See you in the next video.